Hey, this is Jack here with the Hobby Lair, and today we have another ETB Elite Trainer Box opening of the Scarlet and Violet Temporal Forces. This is the first opening of Temporal Forces that we have on this channel. Check out that cool little promo there. Awesome looking art, along with everything else that's in an ETB. Let's crack this thing open and see what's inside. All right, we're back. So let's take a look at this cardboard first. And all right, so we got ourselves all of the new cool future and ancient Pokemon here of the legendary beasts. And then we have our little player's guide. So just flip through this super quickly. Some of the new cards there. Yeah, so the set's super focused on ancient and new plus uh, a lot of these new ace specs, which are really powerful. I saw one that's going for like 30 bucks, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, let's see what we have. Okay, so here's, yeah, we'll get some of the ace specs. I like the idea that these also bring in value with the packs so that you're not just focusing on the pulls from the super rare and ultra rare Pokemons. The art in this set is just absolutely crazy. Uh, I think Pokemon has done a really good job, even though these... <laughs> Booster boxes, ETBs aren't worth a ton. It's because you're printing them um, into the ground. But what that also means is you get these awesome arts for pretty low cost. Uh, none of these are super crazily priced. This is one of the most tempered down sets. But overall, there's some decent value to be had, especially with the playables. We can sell those to people that actually play the TCG game. Or if you actually play, this is also a pretty interesting set to crack. Uh, let's see yeah so for me personally i really like the legendary beasts the hounds the dogs so i'll be collecting the uh suicune raiko uh and Inte arts or rather the gouging fire raging bolt and walking wake uh some of them look pretty silly but those are going to be my chases specifically the old arts so boom boom and boom yeah, there's some nice little trainer Pokemon arts here, which are pretty awesome as well. Anyway, let's get into it. I think this is a, a pretty cool set in terms of art, in terms of defining the current meta. Oh, and if anyone is curious, this is what this guy looks like. Yeah, it's interesting. It's the same design as what's on the background of the Suicune here, or the Walking Wake. All right. All right, so uh, nine packs here. And then here is our Fluttermane, the nice little ancient Pokemon here. Very cool. Uh, if anyone's interested in this, ETB code card. And then let's take a look at these. So, okay, so the front and the back are very different on these. Slightly holographic with that purple. Ooh, I like the look of those your basic energy brick here nothing special and then for your dice okay so it has the ex on one side and the rest of it is all this glittery goodness very cool okay, so we'll put that to the side you get these little plastic burn and poison counters as always and then check out the sleeves so similar uh that royal purple plus the light blue the, the color works really well um, and then on this side you have gold, so uh, it's a very interesting color. You got the purple and gold sleeves. Um, actually, a pretty big fan of these sleeves. But if you ever play with these, you'll know that they split very easily. So I would never suggest playing with them. But for you know protecting your cards, probably not a terrible thing. All right, we'll put these back here, and then let's uh, open up some packs. It's definitely been a while since we've uh, done one of these pack openings. I think we've been doing a lot of traveling lately. Ooh, Latias. A Ancient Energy Booster Capsule. So that's a pretty good one. It's very playable in a Ancient Coridon. Nice. Tag does 30 damage for each of your Ancient Pokemon in play. So a very easy, quick way to do damage. And then here is the code card. All right, so let's take a look at pack number two. Ooh, a very good looking Totodile there. Some cool Pokemon, Sandy Shocks. Funny little Pokemon there, Rapidash. 
Another Totodile. Hey, Iron Leaves EX. Let's go. It's a gold card. It's so beautiful. And then we have a Macargo. And there is the code card. So let me put this into one of our tab sleeves real quick. So I can put this in a top loader later. This is a very, very nice looking card here. Very well centered. Man, it's uh, beautiful seeing these gold cards in person. Yeah, this is actually quite a popular card in Future Box with uh, it being able to take down a Charizard in one hit due to the weakness. Yeah, what a cool pull. All right, on to the third pack. Not one of my legendary beasts, legendary doggos. Hey, buddy, buddy, pop in. Saving that to this side as well. Love the playables in this set. Hey, there's a Flutter main, but this one is the non art art version. Right, put that to the side as well. Iron Valiant, the future card. And then here we go with this. Yeah, so I feel pretty good about this set in general. I feel like the ancient and future shtick is very similar to the rapid strike and single strike, which was absolutely fantastic. Hey, hey we got ourselves a nice little iron hands there. Uh, very, very good. Ooh, so shiny. And then, cool. So we got ourselves another hit here with the Scizor EX. Yeah, so with the single strike, rapid strike, those were playable for a very long time. And they made some really, really cool decks. So put one to the side as well. So uh, yeah, I'm very, very hopeful that this will be somewhat similar go with another code card and we got ourselves the roaring moon again the little roaring moon the big roaring moon very playable cards i think this set without you know super big chases like a charizard or like a really nice looking pikachu uh prices in general have been relatively low for the singles so it's nice to open up some packs And there's very little pressure for pulling anything huge because we are probably not going to pull anything. So, ooh, keep that. Hey, and miss energy. I like that. It's very, very good against uh, one-hit KO moves or one-hit KO card effects. All right, two more packs to go. Yeah, so I think the meta is in a pretty exciting place outside of the Charizard EX. So I think I'm going to start posting some gameplay videos. Uh, really enjoying playing. Hey, we got ourselves a hero's cape. Well, these A specs uh, in real life are really nice. There's a little bit of uh, texture, as you can see there. The whole card's hollow in a funky way. There's the code card. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this in a sleeve as well. All right, last pack. Yeah, so I'm building a couple of these uh, ancient and future decks. So I might actually open up a whole booster box just to collect some of the staples here and we get ourselves a for alligator. Yeah, it's a super interesting ability. You put five damage counters and then this attack does 280 damage, which is a ton for a single price Pokemon. All right, and then we have ourselves a card. So that's it guys, here are our cards of value. Two $10 cards, which is pretty solid for an ETB opening. Hitting two $10 plus dollar cards is not easy to do, and then a Scizor EX as well. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.